even till today. Um, I think last time I was in a really bad state was probably about 15 years ago. But even till today, I still have my moments. I still go down deep into my thoughts. I still can't accept things at times. Um, but I let that be for a certain time. Whereas before I'd do it consistently all day, every day. Here, I'd probably only think about it when I'm probably alone, which a lot of, it happens to a lot of people. Um, but then I'd leave it at that. When I've got work to do or when I've got something to do, I won't be thinking about my own insecure, my own, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be self-consumed, shall I say, um, at that time. And when I'm, when I need to, I will, and I don't shy away from it. I, I, I let myself be as it is. Um, I go through the process on however I'm feeling or whatever I'm thinking, I let it be. Um, and I'd be thinking emotionally. And then I'd start thinking logically. And I'm thinking, yeah, but what about this? And what about that? And, you know, but I think it's just that routine now that I've got into where I know what I'm doing when I wake up. I know what I'm doing in the middle of the day. I know what I'm doing in the night. Just because of that, these small changes that I've put around me, I've made around me, um, doesn't let me go down that that hole anymore and i still be able to get up and be like no i am enough and no i do have reasons to survive and i look at more on what i have rather than what i don't have i think a lot of people they jump big and i think at times i would see see as that that i want to be at this position in life or i want to be i want to be here or if i compare myself with someone i, I want to be at that time uh, i was about 19 and I would see other people where they were at 19 and there was there was no way for me to get to where they were maybe with a better job or a better education because I stopped all that and at, the age of, at the age of probably 14. Now, when I compared myself to other people, um, it was like a big jump for me that, you know, I need to be here and there was no way for me to get there in the next day or two or um, for like, what do I need to do to get there? and. What I understood today was that it's the small changes that will get you there. I know you have to be patient and you have to wait and you have to put things in place. And that's what I did. So what I did was I started making small changes every day. So whether was whether that was praying, and I'm not, I'm not advising everyone to pray because not a lot of people believe in God and that's fine. But maybe, you know, I started to pray and then I started to probably start um, cleaning stuff in my room and around me and I started learning about new things um, I started to go into work and started to gain experience I started a little course so I've done little little steps where I didn't do all of this in one day um, it took me probably about a good few years to get to get interested in things and to, to, to work out on what interests me and what I like to do so I made these small changes which then made me capable to make the big changes and that's when I started to be where I wanted to be over time which took quite some time so yeah I think the smallest changes are the best changes don't think little of yourself in any sort of way um, you will get there uh, slowly but surely but you need to keep being consistent and just believe in that process and have that hope that things will change so